You've most likely heard of ClickUp, the everything app which has rapidly grown in popularity over the last few years. I've recently covered ClickUp for work and project management activities. But as an everything app, how can you and your team also use ClickUp as a CRM and is it any good? Well, that's my focus today to share how you can use ClickUp to manage your contacts, leads, customers, your sales pipeline, operations, interactions and more. All right, so with that quick note, let's jump over to my computer and launch into ClickUp. Here we are on ClickUp. Now, for those of you that are completely new to ClickUp, simply head over to your browser and type in ClickUp.com or feel free to click on the link in the description below this video and that's gonna take you here. Then go ahead and sign up for free. Once you've answered a few questions and set up your account, you'll be taken inside your workspace. For me, I'm going to jump into my existing account and meet you inside. Now for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're gonna use ClickUp as a CRM. However, like I mentioned at the start, ClickUp is an all-in-one app that essentially allows you to manage all aspects of your work. Again, for those of you that are completely new to ClickUp and are interested in learning how to use ClickUp for work and project management activities, then what I'll do is add a complete ClickUp work management tutorial down below in the description. Today's focus is showing you how you can use ClickUp as a CRM, customer relationship management software. This means you can manage all your contacts, customers, leads, sales processes, and other customer facing activities in one platform. Now to get started, because we're using an existing account, I'm going to navigate up to my workspace, Cindio, and come down and create a new workspace. This is optional. If you already have a workspace you want to work inside, simply skip this step. Okay, so I'm going to set up this workspace and select sales and CRM. Here we can add people we want to invite, for me, I've quickly gone ahead and added these two salespeople. However, we can invite more people later on once we're inside our workspace. So again, you can leave this for now, come down, click on invite. If you use any of these tools, you can connect them with your ClickUp account. We're gonna leave this for now. Again, we can do any of this later. Here we can select the features that we're interested in. I'm going to select CRM, forms, tasks and projects, dashboards, and boards and Kanban. If you like, you can select different options. Here we want to name our workspace. Typically, your workspace is the name of your organization or company. Then we can break down the different departments or areas inside your business with spaces. And I'll briefly share the structure and hierarchy of ClickUp soon in this tutorial. I'm going to quickly change this name. And for the purpose of today's tutorial, my workspace, my business name is called Stu's Consulting. Come down, click on finish, and that will take us to our new workspace. Now, if we navigate up to the top left hand corner, this is where we can jump between our different workspaces. However, this is the workspace we want to work in today. Now, it's important to understand the structure of ClickUp. Within workspace, we have spaces. Within these spaces, we can manage folders. And within folders, we have lists. And within lists, we have tasks and subtasks. And we'll dive deeper into each of these different elements shortly. Within workspace, we first want to create a new space. And for the purpose of today's tutorial and to make our life easier, we're going to use a ClickUp Sales CRM template. This means we can quickly set up a CRM and then build on that CRM as well as add our own customizations. To do that, navigate over to Use Templates, then search for Templates and type in CRM. Then navigate down to Sales CRM, and this is the Sales CRM that we want to use. Navigate up to Use Template. Here we can add our space name, I'm going to call this CRM, and then leave everything else as default, and come down and click on Use Template. Hey guys, just quickly, did you know that over 90% of you that enjoy our free educational content have not yet subscribed? It would mean a lot to me if you drop a comment or hit subscribe if you love what I'm creating. This helps us grow the channel and motivates me to create bigger and more impactful tutorials for you to consume for free. Okay, so with that happy note, thank you in advance, and let's get back to the video. And just like that, the sales CRM template has been added to our workspace. Let's quickly go ahead and understand this CRM. Again, if we navigate over to the left hand side, let's click on CRM. This is the space. Then navigate over to list. Here we can see all the different lists inside this space. As I mentioned, within our workspace, we have spaces and within those spaces, we have lists. And as you can see, our CRM is broken down into a deals list, contacts list, accounts list, and then we have a leads list. Again, if we click on the space CRM and click on list, here we can preview all these lists. So here we have deals, and this is essentially our sales process. We want to move our new deals from open 
all the way through to closed. Then down here we have another list which is contacts. And again you can jump over to the dedicated contacts list over on the left hand side. Here we can manage all our contacts. Within accounts we can manage all our accounts. And then we have this get started list. We're going to remove this shortly. And then below that we have the leads list as you can see over here. Here we can qualify all our leads. Okay, so let's tidy up our CRM. Let's navigate over to get started. If you like, you can take the time to navigate through this get started guide. What I'm going to do is click on these three dots and then come down and click on delete and then delete. Okay, so getting started has been removed as a list. Let's navigate through these four different lists inside our CRM. If we navigate over to contacts, again, this is where we can manage our contacts. Now going back to the structure of ClickUp, remember within spaces we have lists and if we like, we can manage these lists by creating a new folder. Simply come down and click on a folder. This is important if you have many different assets like lists, forms, dashboards or whiteboards inside a space. You can use folders to manage those different assets. Okay, let's click out of that. And within those lists, we have these tasks. Now these can also be called items. And then within these tasks, we have these subtasks. And with our tasks and subtasks, or in our case, we would call these records or items. We have these categories and you can customize these categories if you like by simply navigating over to the right hand side and we can add a new item. For example, I'm going to add a drop down, and I'm going to call this field contact channel and I want to add a list of contact channels. To do that, navigate down to drop down options and add your options. For example, these are the preferred options of contact, WhatsApp, call, Skype and email. Let's click on create and if we navigate across, we have this new column. For example, the best contact channel for this contact here is WhatsApp. For this default contact over here, Olivia Vance, that's going to be email. I can also navigate up to the different values and click on add edit option and I can add a description if I like as well as add more options and I can add colors to make this list a bit more visually pleasing. I'm going to add colors to these other three items and I'm happy with that. Now to add a new contact, all I can do is navigate up here and add a new item. And that's gonna add the new contact here. Now what I can do is click on the contact, then click task, and we wanna change this to contact. Now it's important to note that if you wanna make use of all these different types and access to unlimited task types, then you will need to upgrade to a paid plan. Okay, let's click out of this and close this record. Or to add a new contact, what we can do is navigate up to add new task and click on this drop down and click on contact and then add the contact name in here. And then we can navigate down to add a description about this contact. We can also add values to the different columns that we have and add custom fields. When you're ready to add your new contact, simply click on create contact. Now we can also quickly create a new doc, reminder, chat, whiteboard and dashboard. But for now, we just want to add a new contact. Again, let's click on that contact. And again, here we can add more details about that contact. We have a start date, let's add today, then add an assignee, I'm going to add myself, I'm responsible for this contact. And then if we navigate down to custom fields, we can add more information. Contact channel is call, this contact prefers to be called, CRM item type, contact. We can add the email of this contact as well as the job title and their phone number. And then we can add a subtask if we like associated to this contact. And if we navigate down further, we can add a checklist and we can also add attachments. Let's navigate up to the top and close out of this contact. So again, what you wanna do is take the time to add your contacts in here. You can also change the default contacts or delete them if you like and add your own custom columns. Okay, so I'm going to quickly fill out this data for the purpose of today's tutorial. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly filled out some of these details. Now it's important to understand the relationship between these different lists. For example, if I click on this contact here, you can see that this has a relationship link. If I click here, we have these dependencies. But more importantly, we wanna look at this task. Tasks that relate to each other but aren't actually dependent on the other. Now if I navigate over to Oliver, and click on this relationship link here, you can see that Oliver is connected with this company here, which can be found in accounts. Okay, let's close out of this. You can also click on the contact and find that relationship over here. So what I wanna do now is add a new company. To do that, navigate over to accounts on the left-hand side, and let's add a new prospect company. I'm going to call this Sam's Fishing Gear. I can add these different column values. This account is assigned to me, no due date yet. I can add comments, account tier and billing cycle if I like. Again, I can customize these different columns or add additional columns. 
based on the data that I want to record with each of these different records. Now what I can do is navigate over to contacts and click on Sam and then add a relationship by clicking on link task and link this new company that I just added. And now Sam Smith, this contact is associated with this account, Sam's Fishing Gear, which is the name of the company. Again, let's navigate back over to accounts. We want to change this item type by clicking on that account, navigating up to task and clicking on account. And as you can see, we have you added link to Sam Smith. Let's close out of this. Now, if we navigate up to the top, we can see all accounts. These are the different view types. If I click on customers, that's just gonna show us our active customers. If I click on prospects, that's just gonna show our prospects. And then we have a calendar view if we have dates. And we can also add additional views if we like. Again, if we navigate over to contacts, we currently have only one view. If we click on add view, we can create a different view if we like. Okay, now let's navigate over to leads. Here we can manage all our leads. Again, we have the different view types. These are all our leads. We have unqualified leads, and then we have a board view. And this board or Kanban view is ideal for visualizing our different data. We can also drag and drop these different leads across the different stages in this pipeline. Let's navigate back to all leads. And here we can see the different statuses, new lead, engaged, unqualified follow-up, and qualified. If we want to customize these different statuses or groups, simply click on the group and make your changes. I'm just going to delete this. I've changed the color to yellow and I'm happy with that. Now we can also edit these different statuses, these different groups by simply clicking on a record and we can click on the status, then navigate over to add edit statuses. And here we can add a new status if we like. So we have not started, active statuses, done and closed. I could click here and add more information needed. And I'm happy with that. And let's go ahead and click on apply changes. And I'm going to move this contact, this lead over to more information needed. I can also click this next to move this record, this company to the next status. Okay, let's close out of this. And you can see we have that new status down here. We can add a new lead down here. Okay, next let's navigate over to deals. Hey guys, just quickly before we get back to this video, I just want to mention my Sheetify CRM, an all-in-one business toolkit and CRM built with Google Sheets and designed for Google users. You can simply manage leads, customers, tasks, engage in email marketing, manage your inventory, tickets, and more. The great part is I've made this Sheetify CRM a one-time payment, no subscriptions, unlimited access, and future updates. If you're interested in learning more, you can find the link to my Sheetify CRM RM down below in the description. Okay, so with that covered, let's go ahead and get back to this video. These are all of our sales deals. For example, we can see that this deal, company one, deal A, needs approval. If I click on this, I can see key information about that particular deal. Here we have the custom fields, the deal value, forecast value, and all these other details, which we can add more custom fields to if we like. We can also see recent activity on the right hand side. You can see we have one relationship link, which is with company one. And as you can see, deal A is assigned to company one, hence why we have this link to company one. Let's close out of this. And for example, if we navigate across and change the stage to negotiation, that's going to change the sales stage. If we navigate up to our different views, we have closed one, these are all our closed deals. And then we have a new deal form, which allows us to create a form and simply add new deals from this form directly inside our CRM. Now, what I'm going to do is navigate up to view and I want to add a board view. And I'm just going to call this Kanban deals. We can also make other changes down here like layout options. We can choose the fields that we want to show. At the moment, we only have these three fields. If I click here, I want to show close date as well as the deal value. And you can add others if you like or create a new one. And you can add others if you like or create a new field. I'm going to head back. And as you can see, we're currently grouping by statuses. If we navigate down and change this status to sales stage, we now have a Kanban view for sales stages. So I'm going to close out of this and you can see our different sales stages. And as you can see, we now have a visual representation of our sales stages in a Kanban view. Now, if I want to change this, the grouping type, all I would do is click up here and come down to group by, and again, select statuses. And that will change that back to statuses. We can also move these deals to different statuses if we like. If I navigate back and change the grouping to sales stages, again, we can move these different deals 
to different stages in our sales pipeline. Okay, let's navigate back to all deals, come down and add a new deal, click here, add a new deal. I'm going to change the item type to deal and this is going to be Sam's fishing gear and this is going to be called deal X. I'm happy with that. Then I'm going to click on the deal, come down to relationship, link task and link Sam's fishing gear, this company from accounts. I'm happy with that. Again, we can fill out this information from this interface or we can navigate across here. Now I can add specific subtasks if I like. Similar to these other deals, you can see we have these different subtasks or tasks associated to each of these different deals. If I click on this one here, discovery, you can see that there is a checklist, research, set up meeting with the client, hold meeting with the client before moving this deal through to the next stage in our sales pipeline. I could do the same here, proposal, then I can click, navigate down, add a checklist, new item, meeting with client, then negotiate on price. And that is my checklist for this specific deal. I can also create a template to save time creating the different checklists across these different deals. Now again, let's navigate up to new deal form. We can create this form, we can click on build, and we can add different columns, the data that we want to collect. So if we create this form, for example, let's navigate over to preview. This is what the form will look like. We can copy the link and share it on our website. We can share it across our company. And then the recipient of this form, this could be a contact from an account or an internal team user. They can fill out this information and this information here will be added to all deals. Now we can add additional lists if we like. For example, click on the three dots create new, and we have these different options. Again, if you want to learn more about docs, forms, dashboards, and whiteboards, you'll learn more about these different elements inside our ClickUp work management tutorial. Again, that's linked down below in the description. Let's add a new list. This could be tickets or issues. Click on create, then navigate up here. I'm going to call this new issues, and I want to change this for this list only. Then what we can do is add a new status by clicking here, new status, open issues, and I'm going to change the color. For example, I've quickly gone ahead and created closed issues and new issues. This new issue, website not working, I can click here and link this, link task, to this company here and close out of that. Again, I can add more details about the specific issue that this customer, this client is facing. Okay, so you can quickly add other lists. You could add products and services. You could add an inventory list. You could add a transactions list. Anything else that you want to add as part of your CRM. Let's navigate back up to our CRM and navigate over to lists. Now it does take some time getting used to ClickUp if you want to use it as a CRM. However, as you can see, that is a brief tutorial showing you how you can set up ClickUp as a CRM so you can manage all your contacts, leads, customers, and sales pipeline and more with ClickUp. And there we have it guys, that is it for this ClickUp tutorial showing you how you can use ClickUp as a CRM. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care everyone.